Right, so uh, being the first one on, um, I asked Caroline, should I try and be funny or clever? And she said, no, just be yourself. Uh, so I'm going to try and give you the flavour of the type of research I do. And since it's flavour, let me start off with the menu. Uh, first of all, I'm going to start off with why, energy, then what, materials, and then one mystery, uh, and that is who was well, Shakespeare a materials chemist. So first of all, the why. And the why, really, is to do with clean energy. Uh, it's a very big, hot topic, both literally and metaphorically. And that large carbon footprint we're trying to reduce. But as Kermit the Frog said, it, it, is, it isn't easy being green. Um, so what am I looking at? Well, I'm looking at lithium-ion batteries, uh, which have um, helped to revolutionise portable devices. So in this case, size is important. Uh, and there's some mobile devices, including my iPod and my taste in uh, music and a great band. So what's the next challenge? Well, can you scale up these batteries and materials to hybrid and electric cars? That's the successful Toyota Prius, which has sold over 3 million. And the next one, get ready, get your 3D glasses on. Uh, it's red on the left, as in politics. And for the best effect, I find, is if you stare for a while and move your head side to side and even if that doesn't work it, it makes me smile um, <laughs> this is sodium chloride the stuff that you sprinkle on your chips and pasta and rice you can see those spheres are charged atoms sodium and chlorine sodiums are small chlorides are large and it's a very regular crystal lattice it repeats in 3D. So it's not a molecule, it repeats in three dimensions to form a crystal lattice. An important property is ion conduction. Ooh. Ooh. And again. Ooh. So that's a very important property of crystals. They can conduct ions. And here's the controversy. Um, in Midsummer Night's Dream, when Demetrius wakes up to see Helen, he says to her, to what shall I compare thine eye? Crystal is muddy. What Shakespeare is saying here is that compared to Helen's beautiful eyes, crystals contain a lot of ionic impurities. <laughs> so, not very well known, but Shakespeare is probably a materials chemist. Um, so, moving on to the next slide, what do I do? So when I go to parties, that's when I get invited, that is, um, when people ask me what I do, rather than say I'm a chemist, I sometimes say I model. Uh, <laughs> but I'm actually doing computer modelling at the atomic scale, which allows us to look at those moving ions. This is the battery material, um, cobalt oxide. That is a little structural unit, and you can represent that structural unit with an octahedron. And that's ready for the next slide. So if you get your 3D specs on again, you'll see a material that is in your phone right now. In your mobile phone is cobalt oxide. And you can see it's a very sheet-like structure of those octahedra. And the tiny lithium ions are coming in and out in between the sheets. So, um, as in life, uh, the important stuff is happening between the sheets. Uh, so, when you're charging your phone, the red symbol, the green symbol, if you're red-green colorblind, I'm sorry. Uh, so, you can see, but there's a problem with cobalt, the stuff in your phone. It's expensive and toxic. So we need to move over to something else, and that's iron-based. And this is an iron-based material, iron phosphate, very topical. And you can see straight away, it's a very different structure. It's channel structure. So the lithium ions are coming out towards you. And basically, the ions move along these channels. Ooh! Uh, <laughs> so it's a bit like the London tube trains. You've got these channels, and a whole research area is looking at trying to improve the conduction in these materials. But that material is being tested in electric cars right now because it's iron. And one of the test vehicles is this beautiful AC Cobra up in the University of Strathclyde, Glasgow. No, it's 3D. Uh, and uh, as you can see from what they're wearing, it was, a, it was a relatively warm day in Glasgow that day. So the next slide, you, not many people know this, Doctor Who, his sonic screwdriver is lithium battery powered. In fact, the next Christmas episode, there's going to be some hybrid electric Daleks. And on the right is the wake-up call for those who've fallen asleep already. And it's creepy how those antennae... And this is the fantastic research team. I'm the spokesperson for their research. 
And if you want some further information, you can Google Cycle Bath. I promise you won't get a dodgy image. The next slide is some student feedback. I had to end with some student feedback. On one of my, if I had only one hour to live, I'd attend one of your lectures. However, because it would feel like an eternity. <laughs> On that note, thank you.